gill is showing. Cover it up. It's disgusting. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 shows so disgusting they made people physically sick. Uh, I'm so gonna... Later. For this list, we'll be looking at shows known for gross and disturbing imagery, potentially taking a toll on the viewer's health. Since we'll be discussing specific plot points, a spoiler warning is in effect. Which TV show made you ill? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Game of Thrones Almost anything goes on HBO. A Dothraki wedding without at least three deaths is considered a dull affair. This Emmy-winning epic took full advantage of this with some of the most graphic deaths ever committed to the screen. George R. R. Martin's creation wasn't afraid to tackle uncomfortable subjects either, with incest at the forefront of several relationships. You're a hateful woman. Why have the gods made me love a hateful woman? Audiences weren't the only ones shocked by Game of Thrones on a regular basis. In season one, Daenerys ate a raw stallion heart as part of a ritual. While the prop heart was made from a gummy bear substance with a sugary syrup as blood, Amelia Clark found it disgusting, making her reaction in the episode genuine. Not only did Clark need a bucket for vomiting, but let's just say she had a date with the toilet afterwards. So there's that. She truly is a queen today. Number 9. Hannibal. It feels so abnormal. <laughs> an abnormal reaction to an abnormal situation is normal behavior. Being an NBC drama, you'd think that this incarnation of Hannibal Lecter would be infinitely more restrained than the Anthony Hopkins films. Honestly, though, Hannibal could easily be mistaken for a premium or streaming series. He fed his face to my dogs. He broadened their palates as I broadened yours. We're surprised a broadcast network got away with such ghastly yet bizarrely inventive crime scenes. As a network series, however, the showrunners do rely more on the power of suggestion. You intend me to be my own Last Supper? Yes. How does one politely refuse a dish in circumstances such as these? One doesn't. What seems like a gourmet meal suddenly becomes more stomach-churning when you see Hannibal eat it, letting us know what the secret ingredient is. For some viewers, this thought alone is enough to make them queasy. If you can't even watch Hannibal prepare a meal, chances are you won't be able to take the moments involving creatively displayed corpses. World's sickest jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, but where are the corners? What? My mom always said, start a jigsaw with the corners. Uh, the heads of the corners, I guess? Number 8. Squid Game Squid Game is Netflix's most-watched show to date, exploding into a cultural phenomenon. Its popularity has even reached the playground where games like Red Light, Green Light are seeing a resurgence in popularity. Apparently, the recess crowd wasn't sickened by the show, but numerous older viewers were. Many took to social media expressing how the show made them scream, cry, and vomit. And yet, a lot of them were still drawn to the drama, commentary, and world building. This comment sums it up best. Watch the first and second episode of Squid Game today and almost puked my guts out, but let's do this. Like the contestants, you know the show might not be the best for your health, but it's too enticing to walk away. Number 7. Mind Hunter. You see, Bill, I knew a week before she died I was going to kill her. Edmund Kemper, Wayne Williams, Charles Manson, these are just some of the monsters who are portrayed on this Netflix crime drama. Oh, and did we mention that it was executive produced by the same director behind Seven and Zodiac? It should go without saying that Mindhunter isn't for the faint of hearts or the faint of mind. Was it now it's my fault? It's my fault that your children do what they do? 
Your own children, who you were neglecting? We know that no one in the family acted without your approval, Charlie. <laughs> well, if you know, you know. You don't need to talk to me. While the series doesn't hold back from on-screen violence, there are instances where the mayhem is merely described to us. Even then, the tension and mental imagery may be enough to make one uneasy. Like Squid Game, though, the show is so addicting that you have to keep watching. As one user wrote, it made you want to throw up, but you still click next episode. Funny thing, in the ICU, there's no system to alert the guards. It's short-sighted, seeing what kind of people come through. I could kill you now pretty easily. Number 6. True Detective Set it down! I know what happens next. I saw you in my dream. This acclaimed anthology is another crime drama that'll leave you shaken, distraught, and maybe even a little squeamish. Watching the show might not be a picnic in the park, but we'd rather be the viewer at home rather than an actor on set, at least based on Rachel McAdams' experience. You treating you all right? Like a cheerleader on an oil rig. Introduced in Season 2, McAdams played Detective Ani Bezaridis. She had consumed a fair deal of emergency before filming a lengthy shootout sequence that required a lot of running. This combination caused McAdams to vomit. Christ. Ironically, the brutality of this scene didn't make McAdams sick, but the headshots got to us. The same can be said about various other scenes throughout the show, which we wouldn't recommend watching while on the treadmill or after eating. Be right back. Y'all keep eating. Number 5. Jackass Let's take a break from dramas for something more lighthearted, albeit equally disgusting. My name is Johnny Knoxville, and this is the Pooh Cocktail. At the dawn of the 21st century, MTV released a revolutionary reality show that would not only test the cast's tolerance for pain, but also the audience's ability to keep their lunch down. Challenges involved fecal matter, private parts, more eggnog than one person should ever consume in some sitting, pretty much anything guaranteed to make the cast and viewers sick. Remember, don't pace yourself. Some called it vile, others, well, everybody called it vile, but the creativity that went into these stunts and the cast's dedication to the craft made Jackass a hit. So much so that the show inspired a film franchise with more freedom and more potential to make audiences hurl. I think it's about 10 years ago today that I was doing the first poop cocktail and now you're taking the reins and taking it to a whole other level. Yeah. Look pretty happy about it. Number 4. Dahmer Monster, the Jeffrey Dahmer story. Although Dahmer is among Netflix's most streamed shows ever, it's also one of the most divisive for a variety of reasons. Jeff, whatever your name is, Satan, I'm mad. This is how you act when you are out of control. Naturally, the atrocities that Jeffrey Dahmer committed make for an uncomfortable and occasionally nauseating experience. Even when there isn't any blood or gore on screen, the subject matter gets under your skin. That smell is worse than ever. Is it? Well, you know, I had that meat that went bad. That little freezer I got. Just listening to others talk about the horrible smell from Dahmer's apartment puts a nasty taste in your mouth. And speaking of taste, the show doesn't tiptoe around what Dahmer kept in his fridge. <clears throat> I'm just going to tell you right now, this is going to be difficult to hear, Mr. Dahmer. There was a human head in his refrigerator. While Dahmer's actions were sickening, what makes this story especially stressful and infuriating is that he got away with it for so long. It encourages one to think about the state of society, leaving you with an upset stomach. Number 3. The Walking Dead it goes without saying that any movie or show centered on zombies is going to have some gnarly moments. The Walking Dead pushed the limits of cable TV with some of the genre's most grotesque creatures. In terms of kills, though, the walkers weren't always responsible for the most distressing moments. In the season 6 finale and season 7 premiere, Negan delivered what's widely considered the show's most controversial death. 
Well, deaths. So. Back to it. While the show had never pulled punches before, this moment was more than some could take. If you found Negan's actions repulsive, you weren't alone. Reflecting on filming those episodes, Christian Serratos, who plays Rosita, said, It was very cold. It was very emotionally exhausting. A lot of us got physically sick. Number 2. The Boys This satire establishes up front that it isn't going to be your grandpappy superhero show with one character enduring a gruesome hit and run. Not with a car, but with the A-Train. Robin! Robin! If that scene doesn't get you, keep watching. You're bound to find something that turns your stomach upside down. <laughs> The boys keep finding new ways to shock viewers using sea creatures, be it with a dolphin, a whale, or an octopus. For most viewers, however, the scene that pushed them over the edge involved a termite. No, not a literal termite, but rather a superhero who can shrink down. How small can he get, you might ask? Well, small enough to enter a very intimate place, which can backfire with one sneeze. Yikes. Get out! Get out! Get out! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. House of the Dragon I will have your tongue for that. After Game of Thrones, you probably thought you were prepared for anything that the prequel series might throw at you. To paraphrase a certain wildling, you know nothing, random viewer. Oh, no, 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 I'm making the no. first incision. The House of Dragon pilot doesn't mess around, delivering one of the most brutal and heartbreaking birth scenes ever allowed on television. Twitter was united in expressing how this sequence made them cry and grow ill. It was just a small taste of what the first season still had to offer, which included crabs consuming corpses, heads being turned into mush, and King Viserys enduring what might be the slowest death in TV history. My own face is no longer a handsome one. <laughs> if indeed it ever was. It's balanced with awesome set pieces and performances, but we're afraid of what future seasons have in store for us. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.